today we will be dissecting a fetal pig. Ishan and Mahir will be helping me. So this pig, as you can see by looking under the tail, is a female because there's no scrotal sac holding the male genitalia. There's only an anus and a genitalia papilla, confirming that it is a female pig. This pig was about seven months in utero, and pigs normal have, normally have nine months as do humans, so this was pretty far along. And if you actually look under the chin, you can see some hair starting to grow in, which means the skin has started to produce like pores, and if later, when the pig grows up, it would produce different types of hair, unlike soft peach fuzz. So as we start, we'll go over the anatomy first. This is the umbilical cord, which if you cut, cut and tied it, would form the belly button. And here are the two hind legs, the two forelegs, each with four parts of the hoof, not similar to the human fingers. And, and those are called digits. Mm -hmm. And here's the tail. You, on the head, you have the snout, which is its nose with the two nostrils, its tongue, tongue, its tongue and on the side, kind of formed in, are two ears, as always, and the eyes are closed. So, all right, so we're gonna start by cutting from about this top part, which is the larynx, down to about this umbilical cord. So, I'm just gonna make the first incision here. And when dissecting, as you guys know, when you come next year to seventh grade, you will never want to cut beneath the skin layer, as that will not that will cut possibly the internal organs. And because this pig is wrinkly, I'll take a few tries to try and cut this open because you can't really see. Hold on. And now what we're cutting into is called the abdominal cavity. Okay. You're not cutting it. Sorry. I'll just use scissors. Okay. Because oh, the skin is pretty tough. I will show you as soon as I finish cutting what the abdominal abdominal cavity looks like inside. So here we have the pig with its first layer of skin cut open. You can see the start of move your hand. If you guys can see, there's I just recently cut a hole and you can see the layer of muscle and skin covering the rest of the internal organs that I'm going to now reveal with the scalpel. There's a much you can't see. Mr. Marco, can we get some pins? This is also where the rib cage is. You guys know, like right here, that's where we're cutting into now on the pig. So, the reason why we're using a scalpel to do this, when you guys dissect, you will not be using a scalpel, only scissors, is because most of the stuff that you guys will be dissecting doesn't have a fully formed rib cage. So there isn't much to cut there. You'll just cut through a layer of skin and muscle with scissors. So that will be much easier to use. Thank you. Thank you. Now you can see here its internal organs. If you guys are disgusted, you can just close your eyes or go to the back. And if you see down here, it's right, the liver. you can see the liver and or the bladder. It's hard That's to tell liver. right now, probably the liver. And if I cut even deeper up here, you will see the heart soon. I will try to pull that out if I can. If you look right there, you will now see a pig heart. So the pig heart is a four, it's a four sectioned heart, including two ventricles and two atriums. Me here right now is gonna try to cut out the heart so that I can pull it out and show it to you guys. So basically the heart is, I'll try to draw it out here. It's not really a circle, but I'll just show you guys like this. There are two ventricles left and a right, and up 
top, I believe, are two atriums, a, also a left and a right. <coughs> and, and those two, along with the veins and arteries, pump out blood, either oxygenated, or, which means without, with oxygen, or deoxygenated, which means without oxygen, and that pumps those types of blood to and from the brain and other organs from the heart using veins and arteries. Arteries are normally a bit bigger. Now here's pull, pulled out one of the organs, if you guys want to see here. This is not the heart, but this is still pretty cool itself. This is, imagine this, like four times bigger and inside your body. This is what your internal organs look like, so. We're trying to find the heart right now. And it's pretty hard because this, do you guys, did you guys know who Miss Clumtrump was? She was the former sixth grade teacher. This pig has probably been in here since she started teaching. So, and as you can probably see if Liam moves, it's a pretty wrinkly pig, so it's gonna be hard to A, cut into because the skin has grown so tough, probably close to what an adult pig's skin will look like and feel like, but it is also harder to see the internal anatomy. In here. Can you guys see all that like muscle and tissue inside of that organ. The organs aren't made up of mush. It's mostly just muscle and tissue like in this one, but they do a lot more because there are more microscopic like tubes, stuff that will push blood and other vital fluids and vitamins and nutrients around. So this is the internal anatomy of one of the organs of a pig. If you want to come up close and look, you can. If not, you can just stay there. Can you pull out the liver? We're trying. It's really big. Yeah. So we're, we're trying just going to have to play out by hand. We can't. It's really hard to determine if this is the liver or bladder. Because as you guys see here, I know. you have the liver here. And right below it, normally hidden, this is the urinary bladder, as you can see here. But we believe it is the liver because it is quite large and kind of reddish brownish. Because, and do any of you guys know what the liver does? Not really, Omar. Any clue what the liver does? Yeah, it's actually does something with the urine. Mr. Marco, can you please explain what the liver does? Filters the blood. Filters the blood. Yeah. Yeah. Filters the blood. Okay, I can't do it. And can't as do it. you also said, the blood sugars kind of filters all those out so that you have that so perfectly good blood for your entire body to use. And we I'm are trying to pull out the liver. The liver so. Liver's gigantic. Like pulverizing it. <laughs> Literally, this pig's blood was very filtered and it had good blood. This is one piece use. of the liver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have a part of the liver, split in four parts. And you can see how like dark it is. That's because the blood in the liver was so rich. Um, oh, it's so juicy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's juicy. <laughs> yes. Success. Because the liver. We got the liver. Now we have the liver. most of the liver. We yeah. have most of the liver here. And as I was trying to say, it's more brownish reddish because the blood was so rich, opposed to the inside of this one because. The blood wasn't didn't have as much oxygen in it, so it was not as rich. And the umbilical cord. And also here, do you guys know like the belly button? Did you guys know that it was used to be longer and it was connected to the uterus? Yeah. That's how in utero you guys got nutrients and how we all got nutrients and vitamins. That's basically how we live. And this umbilical cord is just that on the pig. This was connected to the sow, which is the adult female pig's uterus, and it fed this. There goes some gut. It fed the pig its nutrients that was needed to live during utero, and when you cut it and tie it, it becomes the belly button. Digestive, digestive, digestive. All right, so here we have some of the digestive tract. digestive tract and the intestines here. You can see, do you guys see this part that's much smaller tube? Guess what type of intestine this is called? Either the small or large. Large. That is incorrect. 
Oh, yes, this is the... This is the small, this is the large intestine, although the tubes are smaller, and the tubes that are larger in, in the small intestine, it is only called small and large because you can, when theoretically if you unravel it, the large intestine with the smaller tubes is actually larger. So, meanwhile they're pulling out. Here's another part of the large intestine, which leads up from the stomach down to the small intestine, down it's through the anus, and then to the rectum, where it poops or secretes um, different like waste and bodily matter. So here you can see again, it is not a, it doesn't it didn't have as much oxygen or blood in it, so it is not a, and it's very thin. So have you guys ever heard of how you can like die when you like puncture an intestine, and how it's very easy to do that because this layer of skin is so thin. Like, I can rip this with my hand, as with the liver, you really can't do that because there's so much muscle in it. So here they have somehow gotten part of the rectum, which is part of the anus, which secretes the bodily matter, as I said before. And if you look inside this tip of the hole, you can actually see some matter that is still in there. Waste. So, and bodily waste. Do you have any surgeons you're doing one plate? Please switch to the scissors. Okay. From here on out. Got it. So let's show let's just show them the progress that you guys have made. Now that we've taken out most of the, the internal organs. Cavity, it's totally empty now. This is they cut through the rib cage. Just you can, if you guys see, there's the bones right here and over here, which covers these are the lungs, this weird like floppy thing in here. And up behind the lungs would be the heart. And the heart is normally very fine, hard to find because as you guys know, you want your heart to be concealed by other muscles and tissues. So and especially in a young pig, the heart and brain aren't as developed, just as in a baby um, human where you, and even the bones. If this was an adult pig, we would not be able to cut through their rib cage with just a tiny scalpel like this. You need probably a saw to cut through that bone. And their bones are also not as developed. A little update, we found the urinary bladder. I'll let Aaron explain what the urinary bladder is for. So the urinary bladder holds the fluids that would eventually become urine until it is ready to come out of the urinary main organ that puts it in the toilet, I would say. Like, and so you can see that it has a tube on the bottom and a tube on the top, which held this part, which would inflate when filled with fluid to its max capacity when it, the animal would urinate. And each tube was used to move the urine around, and from the intestines and starting in the esophagus, it would just move on down and then come out of here. We're now going to cut into the head and try to look for the brain and other organs of the head. So, we the reason we tied it down was because in order to get into the main abdom abdominal cavity, you need to spread out the legs. And even in the in, in this baby fe fetus, it was in fetal position like this is how it was taken out so the legs were very close together and so that would be very hard if your legs were like this the doctors and the surgeons would not be able to cut into you correct if you were like this so that's why we need to tie it so so now I am going to try and cut through the mouth right, so first we're going to show you guys the mouth and how we're going to do that is also in the frog that you guys will be dissecting this year First step is to cut through its jaw so that you break its tense muscles. As it was, when you die, your body becomes stiff and you need to break the tense muscles. So that's how you get the mouth to hang loose. I will do it here. So I'm gonna take the pig. Fine. Here. Can you move? So I'm gonna cut through this jaw right here. If you guys can see. And that's going to kind of make this side of the mouth 
kind of go limp and have all the muscles kind of relax. And I'm also going to cut on the other side so that we can get in fully. So now, as I open the jaw, you can see inside A, the tongue. Mr. Mark, move. <laughs> you guys can see the tongue there and also the early form of teeth if Liam moves. You guys can see there are some teeth that start to grow in, unlike humans, where in a where when we're a lot when we're born and babies, our teeth don't start growing in for a few months. As these as a fetus, these start growing in immediately. Mihir will now cut the tongue out. Part of the tongue, we couldn't cut the whole thing out, obviously. It's all the way inside. So, yeah. here's the tongue. You can see how muscular that is. And in humans, we're known for having a very, like the one in the mouth, the tongue is the most muscular part, even part of the jaw bones, that's the most muscular part. In the pig, you can see it is not hollow, it is filled with very strong muscles, so that you can indeed move it around surely. As these guys are going to cut, I, we recently dissected a frog in class. I still have a frog tongue in a dish, so I will go get that from my locker and you can pass it around. But for now, for now you can pay attention to the ear. All right, we now have found the other part of the tongue. It's right here. And inside the mouth, there are actually these unusual ridges, ridges right here on the underside of the top jaw. So, I can argue the teeth are actually quite sharp, even though it's a pig fetus. It's hard to cut in the mouth since they're so sharp. So while they do that, you guys can, if you want to pass the tongue around, let us see, in fact, the tongue of a frog that I recently dissected in this class. So if you guys want to pass that around. <laughs>